Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're going to be discussing the BOI uh, company structure. Uh, what are we talking about with respect to BOI? Well, what we mean is Board of Investment, the Thailand Board of Investment. And as discussed in other videos, the Thai Board of Investment um, is empowered to provide certain types of enterprises here in the kingdom certain benefits. Uh, including tax exemptions, tax holidays, uh, things like Thai work permit exemptions or exemptions from quotas of a certain number of work permits. Uh, there's also various benefits that can be gained that will basically put a BOI company sort of outside the Bailey, uh, excuse me, outside the bailiwick of the Foreign Business Act here in Thailand. So BOI provides a number of privileges or can, but a question I get a lot is how do we register a BOI company? Well, the answer to that is it depends. Uh, there are circumstances where you can actually seek BOI certification prior to an actual registration of a company, or you can go ahead and register a company, seek BOI concurrently, or seek BOI after corporate registration. Um, all of this is gonna be very, very circumstantially dependent on the facts of a given case. It's gonna depend on uh, a client's given needs. Another interesting thing about BOI is a company could have been in existence for a prolonged period of time in operation doing business and subsequently seek BOI certification, either for a new corporate activity or for something it's already been doing, but something it wishes to receive some BOI privileges on. I've seen circumstances where there's been a corporate acquisition in Thailand and a subsequent um, petition for BOI certification. So uh, while the question is sort of seemingly simple or the answer should seem simple, uh, BOI certification should not be confused with the registration of a company proper. It's simply the certification of an existing enterprise um, in order to receive certain privileges and benefits. Another thing to keep in mind with respect to BOI is there is ongoing compliance that needs to be maintained in order to keep one, in order to keep a company's BOI certification going, for lack of a better word, because failure to adhere to the provisions of the BOI certification can result in decertification. Um, and that can result in serious penalties with respect to the business, most notably things like reversion to having to operate back under the Foreign Business Act or issues with respect to possible tax liability. Um, all of these issues are a reason why BOI compliance or maintain it, maintenance of compliance is important when operating a BOI company here in the kingdom.